On our expedition through time, we will explore the sacred chronicles that highlight the figure of Ham, an essential patriarch for countless ethnic groups on the African continent. We will discover his descendants, Kush, Mizraim, and Canaan, and how each originated distinct lineages, forging the cultural and identity singularities of African nations. Prepare yourself for a journey through the multifaceted roots that form the essence of the African people, their influences on Africa's cultural richness and the legacy of melanin after a cataclysmic flood. The saga tells the odyssey of Noah, chosen by God to rebuild humanity. Noah, progenitor of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, saw in Ham the precursor of the African peoples. Biblical tradition leads us to understand how Ham's descendants were the colonizers of the lands that would become the cradle of African diversity. Each offspring of Ham, with their own heirs, Cush, Mizraim, and Canaan, laid the foundations of the civilizations that wove the cultural and historical tapestry of Africa. For a deeper understanding of the origin of the African people, it is recommended to read the book of Genesis, chapter 10, verses 6 to 20. The narrative reveals the patriarch of this ancient ethnic group, Noah, the ancestor of all humanity, and his wife, both of mixed ancestry, reflected this diversity in their children, who displayed a range of skin tones, features, and characteristics, highlighting the rich ethnic variety of their offspring. We will navigate the waters of history to uncover the roots of black people in the light of sacred scriptures. In Brazil, the intertwining of diverse lineages is a distinctive landmark, the result of Portuguese colonization, the resilient presence of original peoples, and the influx of enslaved Africans. This mix of heritages forged a nation of global encounters positioning Brazil as one of the most mixed-race countries in the world. It is a common sight, both in Brazil and in Mexican lands, to observe brothers sharing different skin tones and ethnic heritages, a testament to miscegenation. In Mexico, miscegenation is a widespread phenomenon, reflecting the union of indigenous peoples with European colonizers, especially the Spanish. The biblical narrative presents us with Ham, son of Noah, considered the patriarch of the African people. Cam, whose name evokes the color of soot, is portrayed as a man with a dark complexion, symbolizing the ancestry of black people. Biblical stories intertwine names and physical traits, suggesting that denominations can reflect both physical characteristics and personality traits. If your family tree resonates with black ancestors, know that you share ties with Cam. Likewise, if you identify as black, understand that your lineage goes back to this biblical ancestor. The Bible tells us that Ham, married and father of four children, gave rise to the patriarchs who populated the African continent. Let us embark on an odyssey through the pages of history to uncover the roots of the black people in the light of the sacred scriptures. The descendants of Ham, son of Noah, are venerated as founders of dark-skinned nations and peoples, establishing themselves as patriarchs of a venerable lineage. Cush, the firstborn son of Ham and his wife, is celebrated as the first black patriarch a genealogical landmark that extends back to Noah himself. Cush is hailed as the ancestor of a myriad of peoples and territories, including the legendary kingdom of Cush, which flourished along the majestic Nile in the region we now know as Sudan. This kingdom, with its capital at Mero, was an epicenter of trade and prosperity, leaving its mark not only on Northeast Africa, but also influencing cultures and peoples in the surrounding areas. The Kushites, descendants of Kush, occupied vast regions of Africa and Southern Arabia, contributing significantly to the cultural and historical diversity of these areas. In ancient times, the Greeks called them Ethiopians, a term that evokes images of faces darkened by the sun, a reference to their dark complexion. Over time, Ham, became synonymous with Ethiopia, 
in the Kassites of Mesopotamia are also believed to have descended from Cush. Misraim, the second son of Ham, is a central figure in understanding the history and culture of ancient Egypt. His descent, associated with the Egyptian population, highlights the lasting influence of his lineage in the formation of Egypt as a prominent civilization. Misraim's descent not only enriched Egyptian culture, but also shaped its traditions, religion, and society. The grandeur of ancient Egypt is intrinsically linked to the lineage of Misraim, making him a key figure in the narrative of the evolution of this civilization over the millennia. Let us embark on a journey through the sands of time to unravel the saga of Pute, the third son of Ham, whose story resonates through the cultural tapestry of various African regions. Pute is revered as the ancestor of African people notable for their hunting prowess, skillfully wielding bows to sustain their communities. His lineage is intrinsically linked to the fertile lands of Libya, the coasts of Somalia, and the banks of the Nile in Nubia. In Libya, Pute's descendants wove a rich cultural heritage, influencing everything from everyday practices to festive celebrations and artistic expressions. Their influence is an enduring thread in the ethnic diversity that characterizes the country today. In Somalia, the Pute lineage intertwines with the deep roots of society, shaping social organization, music, dance, and spiritual traditions. Nubia, in turn, witnessed the marked influence of the descendants of put on its traditions, artifacts, and historical development. Pute's contribution shaped the way Nubian society engaged in preserving and passing on its valuable traditions across generations. Pute's legacy is a mosaic of cultural richness and diversity that continues to this day. The traditions, beliefs, and cultural practices forged by this lineage are essential elements in understanding the history and identity of these communities. The specialization in hunting, transmitted by Pute's descendants, not only influenced their ways of life, but also enriched the cultural richness of these areas. Canaan, the fourth son of Ham, plays a distinct role in the ancestral lineage. He is recognized not as an ancestor of Africans, but of the Canaanites, an ethnic group frequently mentioned in sacred scriptures, especially in the Old Testament. In ancient times, the vastness of the Middle East was home to a myriad of ethnicities, among which the Canaanites stood out. Originally from Canaan, a revered ancestral figure, these people settled in a territory that today we understand as Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, among other adjacent locations. Canaan, the birthplace of the Canaanites, emerged as an epicenter of cultural diversity. Strategically situated at the crossroads of trade routes, the territory witnessed the flourishing of strategic cities such as Jericho and Hazor. Canaanite society, with its complex social structure and distinct religious practices, engaged in commercial exchanges with neighboring peoples, weaving a network of multicultural interactions. The influence of the Canaanites extends beyond their geographical borders, marking their presence in the sacred scriptures of the Old Testament. There, they are portrayed as neighbors of the Israelites, with whom they shared both moments of harmony and conflict. The biblical narrative paints a picture of cooperation and confrontation, reflecting the complexity of human relationships in antiquity. The region of Canaan, the scene of countless stories, was a disputed land, vibrant with life and history. The Canaanites and Israelites, in a delicate ballet of coexistence and dispute, sought to establish their identities and claim their space. The scriptures describe episodes of peaceful coexistence, but also of bloody battles, illustrating the eternal search for survival and legacy. Canaan, ancestor of the Canaanites, emerges as a master key to unlocking the tapestry of ancient history. Through it, we glimpse the rich tapestry of cultures that make up the mosaic of the Middle East. The Canaanites, 
with their unique traditions and contributions, have left an indelible mark on history, enriching our understanding of the complexity and beauty of the human journey. In the multicolored tapestry of the Middle East, the descendants of Canaan emerge as central figures in the weaving of human history. Each child, an ancestral thread, was intertwined in the formation of cultures, traditions, and identities that flourished in specific lands, leaving an immortal legacy. Misraim and Canaan, revered patriarchs, are the foundations of nations, each leaving their indelible mark on the cultural heritage. Unique traditions emerged from their lineages, sculpting the societies in which they took root. The chronicles of the African nations, descendants of Canaan, are as distinct as the stars in the sky. Each ethnic group, forged by unique events, shaped its culture, traditions, and identity. Migrations, encounters with other peoples, the flourishing of languages and cultural practices, as well as overcoming challenges, are chapters of an epic saga. These nations have enriched the African continent with unparalleled cultural diversity. Understanding the history of each nation is key to valuing African cultural heritage, a journey of collective identity and cultural contributions that reverberate around the world. The descendants of these people, dispersed across the globe, found a home in Brazil, weaving a rich palette of skin tones. The beauty of this mix is a testament to the African richness that permeates our society. Skin color is a superficial detail to the divine eyes, which probe the heart. Let us follow this example, not judging by appearance, but by character. Share your reflection on this topic. Your perspective is valuable. I await your comment, and we will meet soon to explore more about the origins of the people.